Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World and brother of Julian Huxley, gave a speech at Berkeley in 1962, shortly before his death. He admitted that his best-selling book, Brave New World, written in 1932, was based not on fiction, but on what the elite were actually planning to implement. And here I would like uh, briefly to, uh, to compare what, the parable of Brave New World with uh, another parable which was put forth more recently uh, in uh, George Orwell's book, 1984. I'm inclined to think that uh, the scientific dictatorships of the future, and I think there are going to be scientific dictatorships in many parts of the world, will be probably a good deal nearer to the Brave New World pattern uh, than to the uh, 1984 pattern. They will be a good deal nearer, not because of any humanitarian qualms in the scientific dictators, but simply because the Brave New World pattern is probably a good deal more efficient than the other. But if you can uh, get people to consent to the state of affairs in which they are living, the state of servitude, the state of being. Well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which, by any decent standard, they ought not to enjoy. And uh, these uh, methods, I, I think, are a real refinement on the older methods of terror because they combine methods of terror with methods of of uh, acceptance. But then there are, there are various other methods which one can think of. Uh, there is, for example, the uh, pharmacological method. This, this was one of the things I, I talked about in, in Brave New World. Uh, and uh, the result would be that, uh, I mean, you can imagine a, a euphoric which would make people thoroughly happy even in the most abominable circumstances. I mean, the, these things are possible.